want a skitchin bitch bring your cables or your lace come join us for a pack a face Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome back. How's everybody? Spring break. Woo. Yes, spring break is good for me. Not as good yeah. for you, because children. Yeah, lots of children. Yes. Um, <laughs> they're not even here, <laughs> but they suck. Anyway, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that out loud on TV, should I? <laughs> but anyway, Sometimes I have a 13-year-old just... girl. She's delightful. Sometimes kids are just kids. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Sometimes kids are exhausting. Mm -hmm. Says the teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I oh, know. We're the opposite land. It's like you get off on spring break and you're like, yay, summer, spring break, fun. And I'm like, oh. I have my children with me all the time. Mm, they're going to want drives and money and food. <laughs> they want treats and to go outside. Yeah. And you guys can't really tell, but we've got puppies today. Yes. Titus, those are not your toys. My honey is sleeping. She is ignoring us. Titus is digging through honey's toy box. Of course. So honey will perk up probably and want toys, but, yes. but so there are smells in there. <laughs> Hi, good boy. Do you want to come here? Nope. nope. Okay. He's gonna ignore me. There right? are smells. He's so a beagle. There are smells. There's been good things and bad things this week. Yes. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, where do we start? Want to start with the good or the bad? Let's start with the bad and get it out of the way because. Excellent. I, I did a bad. It's a sad. I knew I was over gauge. I didn't do the math until I was three skeins in this way. Yeah, I knit that whole thing. I knit cables. It's gorgeous. It has 16 inches of positive ease, which is too much positive ease. Not good. Um, I did pockets. I did whole pockets in here, Lauren. Well, whole, yeah. whole pockets. You did your whole ass pocket. Yeah. It's, it's very be, cute. It's got to be ripped. I got to rip the whole thing out and start over. Yeah. It's sad. It's a sad. But I found another sweater by Thea Coleman. Same shape. Everything's the same except the gauges, what I'm actually knitting at. So I can do the pockets and the cables at it's the correct different. gauge and not have to do a lot of math or fixing. I just redo two months yeah. worth of knitting. It's disappointing. But I'm not going to do that now because this is a winter sweater and we're not doing winter anymore. <laughs> All spring and summer. Yeah. So winter needs to go away. Um, that. That's why winter's been hanging around so long. Yeah, it's my fault. Sorry, everybody. So instead... Happy dress! I'm knitting a nice summery dress and that color that yeah it's funny because I've got another thing that I found in my stash that is I am obsessed with this color this like, yes. pea greeny I'm hoping beautiful. that blocking will keep that from folding up all the time because mm -hmm. otherwise I'm not going to win but anyway this is my dress so far it's very cute now I have to knit in the round 380 300 84 stitches, 386 stitches, I don't know, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Around, around, around for 15 inches before I have to do anything else. On the bright side, because it is in the round and it's stockinette, it goes pretty quickly. Yeah. As long as I don't get through 15 inches and have my cuff still folding up, I will be good and happy. Anyway, so that's it. That's my winning state fair dress. I have until May 24th when I enter. Mm -hmm. and June something when I have to hand it in. Yes. So that's what I got this week. Yay! I have been, I started a cowl the other day for my baby sister, whose birthday is on May 24th, actually. Ooh. So that's sign up day for State Fair. So I yeah. made her mittens for Christmas a year or two ago, and they're a little Ouija board mittens. They're very cute. And so I adapted oh, that chart so and made a matching cowl because she was complaining that in Nebraska, it's very cold. So she's like, I need a scarf. I need a scarf. She was complaining to my mother. And my mom texted me and was like, can you make your sister a scarf? She's complaining. And yep, I sure could. And it's um, black and white, which is my favorite, which yes, means it's very, very Lauren, on brand. Will, Lauren will have to make a second one. Yes, well, that's fine. It took me like a day and a half, so. I know, because you're insane. Yes, so it was fun, and I love the little, like, planchette. It turned out so good. Spooky kind of vibe. She's very, like, emo-y, 
gothy kind of my kiddo. Favorite. I love her. So, yes, she'll be 19. Oh, my God. I know. I'm so old. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you <clears throat> yes. 19. She's going into her sophomore year of college already, which is crazy. Yeah. But, yes, so glad I could do that for her. And yeah, by next fun. winter, she'll have a much warmer neck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> And then your other thing that you're making. My other thing that I'm working on. I just have sleeves left Because again, on this it's one. that lovely soft green that we love. Yes. So this is, it's actually more yellowy actually. But yeah. But it's I so pretty. I loved the construction of this. It's a little chevron sweater. And it was such a cool idea for the construction. It's like knit in the round. And then when you drop the sleeves and finish the body, you kind of go like back and forth in, in, um, flat knitting and oh. then you pick up all the stitches between the little stripies to finish off the hem oh that's so awesome it was a very cool construction idea and now i just have my sleeves left it's so cute on you too it's super fun and one of my friends said that it looked like it was like store-bought <laughs> um, yeah so really happy with how it turned out and that really one cute. knit up really fast too didn't it yeah i started this at our knit up north retreat in february so okay couple of months and I haven't been working on it consistently because I'm not a monogamous knitter I kind of have to be sometimes otherwise I never finish anything I get stuck on sleeve island pretty easily and then it just sits on the needles until I decide that it's time to do sleeves which is sad because like sleeves don't take that long when you actually just do your damn sleeves because right you know smaller stitch count and like they come together really fast I'm just lazy for your chevron one are Mm -hmm. you gonna pick up sleeves or do you knit your sleeves separate and then uh, it's picked up. Okay, so well, I that's put them not on, bad. I put them on hold, and so I'm like partway through a sleeve. And really, they kind of, this construction is kind of dropped down low, like on your arm. Yeah. Even just without the sleeves knit. I was so going to say, it's, it's really cute. a lot less sleeve knitting than normal. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got like half of half of my sleeve done already. So. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I don't usually like long sleeves on sweaters anyway, so I usually knit them a little bit shorter. Yeah. So. Oh, that's so cute. Yep, I really am happy with how it turned out, and the colors are fabulous. The farmer's daughter fiber is the purple, and then um, a little kind of smaller Chicago independent brand, uh, Migration Yarn Co., oh, yeah, is the I yellow, like and it's gorgeous and kind of that Fun. soft, buttery yellow. And as you're moving around looking at things, Lauren, the back of your shawl. Oh, yes. So also you don't see it on the front? Shawl. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it's beaded. And yeah, beaded and lace. Lace and yeah, this and is all, stripes. It's all the best things. <laughs> Laura Nelkin pattern. It was her um, mystery knit along a couple years ago. Yeah, so this was my so... state fair fourth place shawl from last year. From last year. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my pretty. shawl. Yeah, your shawl's way more enough. exciting than mine. <laughs> Mine's shawl just is big. beautiful. It's Mine's colorful. Big and beautiful and colorful. It was. My Hedgehog Fibers um, advent calendar last year. And so it is just <laughs> huge. And all the colors. And the fun and tassels. The, the tassels. And tassels. Look at the tassel colors. Because I was like, so I fun. need tassels. Because then it gives so it, it a little bit of make it pop. structure because this thing is just everywhere. It's everywhere. It's a mess, but yeah. whatever. I have trouble with shawls. I'm like, I want to wear them, and then like they're just so fun. They're so fussy sometimes. It's like, I don't know if I'm wearing it the right way. <laughs> yeah. So. That's, uh, I, I I'm just always a mess. So I just throw it on and yes. Shells help look great it cover on my, my cleavages because sometimes they get obnoxious. Yes. Anyway. I like to wear them during yeah. school when my like, arms are cold. Yes. And the rest of me is hot because our school doesn't have air conditioning. But <laughs> in, in the morning, it's usually a little chilly. So Makes shells are great. great yeah, I love it. And they're fun when you go to knitting places and other knitters are there because they're the only people who really appreciate them. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's how I always can tell a knitter because it's like, oh, you're wearing a shawl. Yeah. You must be a knitter because yep. normal people just don't. Normal people. <laughs> right? We just don't. Knitters are not normal people. We are not. We're different. But Lauren and I went to a yarn festival. We did. We went to Yarn Con last yarn weekend. Con. It was really fun. It was a blast. We met some of our friends there. So that was mm-hmm. kind of fun. It was like neat to run into people that we actually knew. Yes, and a different made city. new friends. And we, yep, we made some new friends because they had a cool t-shirt on. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. I forgot we were going to wear our t-shirts today. Oh, yes. 
Yeah, we bought the best t-shirts there. It says knit one FU, which is hilarious and yeah. delightful. Hi, good boy. So, up against the colors I'm wearing, you can't really see these colors, but look at these colors. They're so pretty! So, my friend at Woolweed spun these up, and I said I needed to have them. And then I found this other sparkly yarn from, um, who's it from? Figment. And it's called Iced Iris. But look at these together. Oh my god, guys. So pretty. So I'm going to figure out a shawl. They're different gauges. But I think that'll be fun. And then my friend it's Janice. Deep dyed. Oh yeah, deep dyed. <clears throat> deep dyed yarn is where that purple came from. Then my friend Janice um, threw this Libyana Me yarn at me that she was destashing. Guys, <gasps> fun. So I can do purple and bright peach. Yeah, that, that coral looks great with that. Isn't that fun? That is delightful. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but. It's going to be pretty. <laughs> figure out something like maybe lacy and then like chunky something. Yes. So those are going to go together. There is not a pattern. It's going in my stash for now, which we can talk about my stash if we want to. <laughs> yeah, we need pictures of your stash. I um, took a little bit, but I started, because of spring, I started spring cleaning, which meant all the buckets of yarn that I had brought up for winter, because I was working on things in the house, um, and because I was sorting through all the fun stuff I bought last year, I dug out all of the yarn. I'm sitting, I'm looking over my computer at all my buckets of yarn. And there are one, two, three, four, five, seven, ten. I think ten big buckets and two small buckets, like like thirteen gallon is what I'm saying. Thirteen yep. gallon yep. rubber made totes. And then two smaller ones. Um I sorted them by weight. And <laughs> so the four main buckets of just different size yarn that I don't have plans for. Then I've got one bucket that is gradients and sets. And then I've got two buckets that are sweater quantities. And then I've got, I think, one bucket that's like shawls that I'm, I've got like set up together with their pattern. And I've got a bucket of like unfinished stuff just random stuff that needs like crochet edges i don't crochet <laughs> uh, you do I, crochet you i will don't figure it out frequently crochet well i don't know how to read a pattern oh right 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 so when i've got this really cute thing that needs this delicate crochet filigree mm -hmm. i don't know how to read the pattern I so gotcha. i haven't figured it out but it's we'll in my there. bucket to finish and figure out i had taken it to my grandma who crochets and she doesn't know how to read a pattern either apparently and I said grandma hmm. help and she did a single crochet all the way around and handed it back to me and I went well I could have done that <laughs> awesome so they yes. say don't speak ill of the dead hmm. um <laughs> but it wasn't helpful so yes. it's been in my bucket for many years yes and I will finish that and I think that's kind of it but now I've got to take everything that doesn't have a plan and put it back in the basement for summer and then kind of keep the stuff that I have plans for closer to the top. It's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. But I've been listening to um, A Stash of One's Own mm -hmm. by, what's her name? I don't know. The one who writes all the books. I can't think of it. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't look it up. Um, but I've been listening to that and it was starting to inspire me but instead of getting rid of anything, I just sorted it and put it all away. Yeah. I Lauren's going to tell us. Clara Parks? Yes, Clara Parks. She wrote all the things. I wrote her. I read her other book last week. Oh, okay. Um, is that Knitlandia? Is that the same yeah. author? Okay. Yep, same author as Knitlandia. Okay. So this one is um, short stories about different knitters. Oh, fun. Um, talking about their own stash. Nice. And if they stash or don't stash mm -hmm. or how they manage their stash. Yes. And, yeah, it was pretty inspiring. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't gotten rid of anything, though. That's okay. One of the women at YarnCon said that buying yarn and knitting are completely separate hobbies. So. Absolutely. Because <laughs> I've got, I'm looking right now at a set of fluorescent, because, yeah, I love it. I don't know mm-hmm. what to make from it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I bought that, like, crazy rainbowy fluorescent stuff at yes. the Knit of North Retreat, and I was like, I'm going to make uh, this beautiful shawl, the... Um, Love, love lives here. Love grows here. Shawl, yeah. I think it's a Cali monster shawl. Yeah, that's cute. Um, which is beautiful. And then I was like, wait, I could make a really obnoxious rumble raglan from it. Ooh. So it's still sitting on my shelf, but it will eventually get made. And I think right. it's gonna make a really cute rumble raglan. I just love it. Yeah, I love a neon. Be good. I don't wear so a lot of neon. So how many pre-planned things are you like ready to cast on? Well, I need to cast off a couple of things first, so... because right. you do a lot of things at a time. Yeah, so I have to finish off this... I'm, like, casting off this cowl that I just finished. Mm-hmm. I need to finish up the sleeves on my sweater, which will not take me that long if I actually focus on it. And I need to finish my dress. Okay. So those are, like, the big three that need to be done. And then Mumble Raglan is going to be one of the first on Good. the needles next, because um, it's just fun. And it's fingering weight, so it's going to take me a while. Oh, yeah. So that'll take me a hot minute to finish. Um, and then, you know what? I should probably just look And you bought my... yarn for that um, skirt and tank top. Yes. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. I know. Me. Um, <laughs> this is so much fun. Because that that's yeah, just it. I've got yarn coming to make a tank top to go with this. Yeah. The, um, the Heartbreaker shawl and Heartbreaker tank top that we talked about a couple episodes ago. I'm getting ready to Ooh, make. Yeah, that would so. be good. Bought the, bought the yarn for that, so that's definitely going to be on the needles soon as well, because that's a great, like, spring, summery mm-hmm. outfit. Um, and then I would really like to do some of my summery knits. I've got this really cute, um, it's called the Pixie Tank. Ooh, yes. And it is adorable and super fun, and just some, like, light cabling. So that's kind yeah, of my that's fun. Gorgeous. That's yeah. got this a similar lace panel as the short sleeve mm-hmm. cardigan I want to make. Mm-hmm. Not cardigan. A little yeah, bit. that kind of leafy. I really like it. It's cute. So that's one that's going to go on the needles soon. And then I'm also spinning. Um, I need to get this done. I need to finish spinning um, my friend's um, dog fur <laughs> into yarn. Oh, fun. And I'm going to make her a little hat or something out of that after it's all spun up. So lots to do. <clears throat> I have got so much a ton there. of spins. Well, I couldn't decide what colors I wanted. <laughs> so I just buy them all. Well, I wasn't sure what I was going to make either, but then I decided I want to make the um, shift again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys. Yes. And it's a pretty pattern. If this isn't my color, hello. <laughs> it's the perfect it's like, color. Shine it over here where there's light on it. And then. But look, look at it with the, like, it's going to be magic. It's going to be beautiful. I am really excited to see how it turns out. But I have to find time to make it. And then mm-hmm. I ordered a cashmere blend in a shade just lighter than this. Love. Lauren. Oh, my God. I love a cashmere. Yeah. They haven't sent it to me yet. But then I'm going to have a cute little tank top. Yay. And then the shift again cardigan for over the top. Fun. But first I have to knit my dress. Yes. And then I have to cast on this. And then I've got a short sleeve cardigan that I want to make. No, it's not a cardigan, it's a pullover. <laughs> I have to stop saying that. And then, I don't know, like, I've got like 25 shawls and like 10 full sweaters for a yarn. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. Yeah. and then I've got my one that I have to re-knit. But that's going to happen another time. Yeah, I need to stop leaving my house. <laughs> oh, so that's what I got. Yes. I got an ass load of stuff at YarnCon. Yes, so. show me all the things. I am so excited. I'm so. going to sit back here, and people are going to tell me that they can't focus on me, but that's okay. <laughs> One of my very favorites, and you can't, it's hard to see on the camera, but these it's little shiny. flowers are shiny. This is from Darn Yarn MN. So they're on Instagram if you want to find them. And the best thing is it has pockets on the outside, it has pockets on the inside, and the little inside folds up and is a drawstring so you don't lose yes. track of your shit, which is fantastic. So, and like this yarn. front pocket is big enough for like my big ass wallet. 
and the little front pocket is big enough for my phone, so it's perfect. Right, and the zipper is rose gold that matches mm-hmm. the copper highlights on the flowers, which is yeah, so, cute. so fun. So, so that that's one of the yarn. my favorites, Darn Yarn MN. I think they're Darn Yarn MN bags on Insta. So that was fun, and then a couple of other favorite things here. I clear out all my nonsense. Ooh. Oh no! I know it says it's still recording, but yeah. it turns off and freaks me out. Yep, same. So another bag. I was bag heavy this year. Penguins and so polka dots. It's very so me. So cute. So penguins and polka dots. Penguins are my very favorite. I love them so much. I got one tattooed on my leg. So I love a penguin, and I was very excited to see this uh, from Allegheny Fiber Arts. They're from Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. So Allegheny Fiber Arts, pretty fantastic. They have a little Etsy shop. Other things that were purchased over at YarnCon. Uh, this is Maybe, May, M-A-Y-B-E-A. I think their name might be B. Maybe Crafted. And look, they're rainbow sheepies. That's my favorite. Yes, so it's called Psychedelic Sheep, which is a hoot and a half. They had a bigger project bag too, but it was like, I've already bought two project bags. I probably don't need another one. The colors um, perfectly match what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Yes, I love the rainbows. I'm all about rainbows. They also had some very fun pins. So I got a couple of their little pins there. My favorite is 13.1 Whips. <laughs> it's the little yes. like the little like half marathon pin, except it's works in progress. And then I got my little rainbow stockinette stitch pin That's there so too cute. because queer. I did yes. also buy some pins. <clears throat> yes, pins are great. Did you show everybody your bag? I haven't yet because it's still a little wonky. I need to fix my bag because I'm a dumbass and burned off a couple of the letters with an iron while I was trying to fix the alpaca. Well, look at Lauren and I made. Uh, we made little alpaca face bags, and there will eventually be an A and a C in the word face. <laughs> I will fix it, but I broke it first, so yeah, that's fine. Yes. So other other fun things. From RMR Yarn Co., I bought a shawl pattern. Look at that shawl. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. And, and then the colors that they put together for it are just so fun. Lauren I saw the red speckles from across the booth and was like, oh, Jenna, this yeah. yarn. And then she saw the, pa- the kit. And well, it, it felt very murdery when I saw it. And I yes. was like, this is like true crime love. And so I was very excited about it. I think, so. I think the puppies are happy now. <laughs> We've got dogs everywhere. They found a thing. Um, other favorites. Oh, yes. From one of our local dyers. One of my very favorite <gasps> local dyers. Yes. Critical Sheets. I got a couple of skeins from them. This gorgeous, like, blue marled. Isn't that pretty? It's fingering white. I don't know oh, what I'm going to do with it yet. But it went so nicely with this lovely sparkly purple. I love yes, a sparkle love yarn. And I was really excited about that. So I think together they might work in something maybe a cowl or a hat or something or other but they're very so pretty fun. and they made me happy so I again bought them. totally on thread and matches what you're wearing yes i have i have a color palette can you tell guys <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shift this just a little bit because i think it's so funny that like <laughs> we have they are guard dogs they're guarding yeah and then they'll freak out because there will be squirrels yes anyway. so many squirrels um oh Yes, the one of my very favorites, another sparkle yarn. So I had not heard of this brand before at Supernova Dye Works, and they're in Michigan. Mm-hmm. And Sparkles, again, and this is called Bodily Autonomy, and 2% of the proceeds of this colorway go to um, pro-choice organizations. So I was really excited to hear about that. I bought it first because I loved the name and the sparkle and the colors. Um, but then they, the uh, owner of the business told me, hey, we, we actually uh, wind up donating 2% of the pro- proceeds to pro-choice organizations oh. of that colorway, which I love. So way huh. to go, Supernova. And also on the pro-abortion train, one of my other favorite dyers is Dye Mad Yarns. Little Chester the Goose up here That's and so I got their pagan holidays so they have an in bulk and they have a yule colorway and awesome. they're kind of outside my norm but I really like yeah. them they're fun and then more in my in my colorway this is called first snow and I have That's been pretty. stocking their wintry colorways on Instagram and I'm excited that I found one so. yeah that's awesome way too much money on yarn but it's pretty fantastic and I haven't even gotten to my ones that I got from Firefly Fiber, 
Yes. They're these lovely things, which are and make. They're called and make uh, from uh, Fiberco. And just about anything that you get from Fiberco is phenomenal, and it's mm -hmm. going to knit up beautifully. And it's so soft. I was really excited about it. It is, it's a combination one. It's a uh, wool alpaca linen blend. Ooh, yeah. So kind of warmish. Yeah. But I think that with a, it's like a lightish gauge and it's not going to yeah, be too Yeah, and it'll like have heavy. really nice drape with linen yes. and alpaca. That'll be great. So I think it's going to be back, beautiful. And I really like the colors together. I haven't decided if I'm going to do this top and this bottom or this mm -hmm. top and this bottom. But I think they work together. Yeah, I think they look really great together. Yes. And here's our friend Titus, the star of the show. He's a very good boy. And then last little thingy that I got, I think, double checking my list so I don't leave anyone out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I got a couple of these little yarn cozies from Sarah Osipek, um, sjocreative.com. She also has a YouTube channel called Can Sarah DIY It, I think. Is. Yes. Um, so check her out. She's, okay. We uh, had just met Sarah. She's a hoot. Yes. She is just like a freaking ball of sunshine. She is incredibly extroverted and delightful, and I want to be her friend. Um, but she, I have a butterfly pattern that is currently being in use, and then there's this cool, like, wavy bluish one. And I just love a yarn cozy. I can't resist a yarn cozy. So. And for anybody who doesn't use yarn cozies... Um, you should really use yarn cozies. <laughs> you put your cake in there, and then when you're doing a center pull... It doesn't get all mucked up. The yeah. outside doesn't unravel. You avoid yarn barf. It's great. Yeah. So I use them all the time. Yes. And then when I have to unravel things, um, I then need more mm -hmm. because then they go live in the box with whatever I'm not knitting. Yes, that. Titus. I know. You're Don't covering, I look cute? Up, you're I look covering like, up Jenna. <laughs> I look like Titus now. He is very cute. He is very cute. Yes, I think that's all my purchases. I did not buy a new spinning wheel, so everyone should be proud of me. Are you going to, though? I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy a new spinning wheel, but I didn't over the weekend, so I <laughs> talked to my husband about it good, first good, instead good. of just dropping $950 on a spinning wheel. So yay me having some self-control, um, even though I bought, like, way too much yarn. Well, <laughs> and should we talk about the fact that you bought a Cricut last week? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> But I've bought far too many things, but I am at least using my Cricut. Unlike me. I have I have made some, like, I've had it for a little over a week, and I have made an ass load of things. Yeah, Lauren's made a ton of things, and I've had mine for over a year and not. <laughs> I made, like, these really cute etched glass glasses. I know, I was going to bring my glass up, but I think that's being washed because I used it. Cards and... Little uh, sheepies that your eggs yep, go my in. Little, I made little egg holder, like egg candy holders. Um, yeah, Lauren's been doing all the fun spring projects. Yes. It's I awesome. also use it for my, we had a door decorating contest at work, which is what yeah. wound up tipping me into buying a new Cricut because I was looking for the, um, the power adapter for my current old Cricut, one, which yeah. was so old that it still used the cartridges. Like it's like first generation yeah. Cricut. Um, so I have just a shit ton of cartridges and like the old like keypads that cover up the, it's, it's insane. Um, <laughs> it's and an antique it Cricut, digitally. but yes. And I like, I couldn't find the power adapter, couldn't find the power adapter. It was four in the morning and don't piss me off at four in the morning because I will pull mm -hmm. the trigger and buy a $300 product when I'm feeling right. frustrated. <laughs> so that was a thing that happened. Um, but, but yeah. you didn't buy a... But I didn't wheel. buy a new spinning wheel yet. And this is great. I was going to bring this up, too. Um, Firefly Fibers, where I got that great Fiberco wool. They, if you are wanting to spin or wanting to learn how to spin, um, and are like, wow, spinning wheels are fucking expensive, because they are, um, they have a lovely rent-to-own program. So Can you... you I, I've never heard of any other shop doing this, yeah. and I thought it was brilliant. And they're like, we just really want to get the craft out there. We want to bring it to more people. And so what they did is they have broken down the payments to you're paying 10% of the full cost over 10 months. So you are not actually owning your cricket or your cricket, your right. spinning wheel until it is um, paid off. But like, you get to use it in all of that meantime, which is great. It's right. not just like a layaway until. You know, you can't use it until it's paid off, but they, they rent it out, essentially. And I think that's brilliant, and I love it. It is. And they, I think, had a couple of different options that you could order mm -hmm. that way. Yep. I think they're all shocked products. So the one that they had in, in the store was a ladybug. They said they had another one handy and ready to go. 
um, but they had a matchless as well sure. um, that they could order, and I'm sure that they could probably order another you know product as well if you're looking mm-hmm. for a specific kind. But I love that. I think that is so smart. Yeah, that I think like, that would be great. Not enough spinners in the world. It's kind of a dying art. <laughs> and well, how can we make it more accessible? And I'm pretty sure there's a group up here mm-hmm. that was talking about meeting up at Cream City. Mm-hmm. So like doing an open spin or having, um, I forget the name of the woman who teaches their spinning there. I don't know if there is someone who teaches there, there their spinning is. there. There is. She, um, I can't think of her name because she, her and Lisa were talking about it one day and mm-hmm. she does other classes there. Oh, okay. But she's very good at spinning apparently. And so she said that she would happily do like an open spin. I love spin. that. So if, if you get one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my current are... wheel is not easily transportable. It's it's from 1910. Um, it is literally an antique. Mm-hmm. And, and it that's why works, the lady but... bug ones, I think, are really nice for yeah, them, aren't they? They're small and they're easily, you yeah. know, tra- they, you don't have to, like, break them down to bring them places. They all kind of stay in one piece. And, yeah, it's very nice. So <laughs> uh, I'd be boy. excited because then Lauren can make me yarn all day. Yes. If I only had all of the time in the world. <laughs> Someday. Yes. When I'm retired. I don't have all the time in the world either. No. no. I do have all the projects, but I don't have all the time. Yes. Let's just, like, move away. No. Start a commune. <laughs> I want to be on a beach, and then that would get sand in so, my yarn. Um, like, I want to get away from this capitalist society that makes me earn money, and I just want to, like, knit people sweaters in exchange for food. I know. Good. So... This is the best example. I want to share with you my fairy wish witchcraft from it's Sock so Obsessions. Fun. So I had bought one skein of this in sock weight, but then she had a new um, is that worsted? This is DK, DK, and I've ordered a sweater's quantity. It's so but it's pretty. Like, it's this bright purple with like little rainbows. rainbows. So I don't know what I'm going to knit with it yet. Prismatic feeling. Yeah, probably something kind of easy, raglan, simple so that the yarn is highlighted versus Mm -hmm. the pattern. Is that? Oh, it's just so fun. It's so pretty. So. Yes, that caught my eye from across the room in one of her yarn boxes. I love sock obsessions because I follow them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, almost every other day, it's like, oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. And so I've got some one-offs, but this one I had to have a sweater's quantity. It's so pretty. <laughs> Too pretty. It's so good. I love it. So yes. that's all my things. I've got lots of color and lots of things. Yay, color and things. Uh, we voted. Yes, yesterday we voted. Our favorite candidate for a Supreme Court won. So yay, yeah, Judge Janet is now going to be our new Supreme Court justice, and Dan Kelly can go suck an egg. Or two eggs, even. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And hopefully those eggs impregnate him and he has to carry the full term. <laughs> but Judge Janet, so he'll be able to seek, <laughs> we'll be able to seek health care. <laughs> right. Ugh. Anyway, having the kids these days is scary. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. um, real glad I don't have those. Real glad I don't have those. Yeah. But you want to know why I don't have those? Because I could seek abortion care. But because of choices. Yes. You get to have choices. Yeah. No, hopefully my kids get to continue to have choices. Yeah. And hopefully we can get universal health care at some point so I can stop worrying about that. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Because it was one thing when I was a kid and had to think about getting a job or getting married in order to have health insurance. Yeah. And now uh, I'm yeah. married and have marketplace health insurance. Yeah. It's not great. It's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky I... Uh, work for a school system that has a really good union and my health insurance is damn good for yeah you know for for a, an employer me. based health insurance i'm a nanny and i married a bartender go figure anyway yeah. i carry the health insurance <laughs> in our relationship which is fine yeah it's but fine but my husband's then, company was more expensive and i've well, got a kiddo who yeah. is graduating and doesn't know what he's going to do with his life and Terrifying. He will at some point need to figure that out. Yeah. So. He'll get there. Yeah. He'll make a choice. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. One of those things is like, can't worry entirely about that. It's not my problem. It's his problem. Well, it's 
As long as he doesn't. It's impregnate. both your problems. As but... long as he doesn't impregnate someone and have to keep it at mm-hmm. a, an age where he's too young to mm-hmm. deal with that. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. Also, condoms, please, everybody. Yeah, uh, condoms and birth control, please, for the love of God. If you don't want children, yeah, do everything Multitask. you can to avoid having children. Um. Yeah. And notice, neither of us said abstinence. Yeah. That's not realistic. No, because kids are going to be kids. Hormones are going to be hormones. And, you know, they should be able to say what they want about their own bodies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the abstinence doesn't work because, you know, it's just, it's not a feasible, feasible mm-hmm. thing. If you want to be abstinent, that's great. You do you. But Although there are people that would say the same thing about monogamy. So. Yeah, hard same. I'm very much the same. Whereas, <laughs> I know you are. And yeah. I'm very much like, yeah, that belongs to me. Stop sharing it with other people. And that's who you are, and that's wonderful. <laughs> but I know some lovely polyamorous couples, and they absolutely. do so nicely, and their family is beautiful, and like, well, yeah, it's absolutely. just a supportive and wonderful community, and I love that for them. Again, that's not necessarily for me, but right. you, you do your thing. As long as it's not like, I don't know, I have an issue with polygamy, because that's like, the man is in charge, and the wives are subservient, mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. But polyamory, I love it. Right? I don't know. I love it. I can't like, even manage is... the one person. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. You know, everyone is yeah. different. That's kind of how I feel. And as long as it's between consenting grown-ups and it's not... And be honest yeah. about that stuff in the beginning. Or if you change your mind. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's us on marriage. Or <laughs> relationships in general. <laughs> Great relationship advice from the knitting blog. Just be honest. <laughs> just, just, just do your own thing and don't yeah. be an asshole. And yeah, be honest yeah, with don't your partner. Don't agree to something you don't want. And... Don't change your mind about something and not tell the other person. Yeah. Don't shit talk your spouse every time you're out with your friends. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, in general, I think that's a good rule of thumb. It's fine to vent, but if you're like, I hate being married. I can't stand yeah. it. Right. Like, do you even like your husband? Oh, like me and my children? <laughs> Well, oh. I don't know. I just think that there's a difference between, like, I need to vent. This is very frustrating. Right. And I'm versus actually really like, unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Versus, like, I am so deeply unhappy that I don't want to do this anymore, and I am crying right. out for help. Right. Um, yeah. so. And if you need help, we're here for you. Yeah, absolutely. If you we, are crying will... out for help, then be honest about that, too, though. Not right. Like, like, like we'll, no, I'm just we'll joking. madly I love him. encourage whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah Ten divorces. years this year, Lauren. Yay. <laughs> Three for me. And, you know, I have a divorce under my belt already, so... <laughs> well, I do not, but I waited until I was in my late 30s to get married. Yeah, so. that's probably a wise choice, because when you get married at 23, because spite, it's not a great decision. No. Yeah. No. But it <laughs> More marriage hard. advice. Don't marry someone for spite. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a lot of things you can do for spite, but not marriage. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. We, uh, we waited until we were older and, like, way more settled, and that, in some ways, made things hard, too. Yeah. Basically, you know, relationships are hard. Yeah, they can be. They're they're work. I don't think they're necessarily yes. always hard, but they're they're always work. Yeah. yeah. And then there's us, and we're just like he, super happy all the time with yes. each other. I bet Lauren goes home and just like, oh my god. I don't. I don't though. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. I got to get out of the house today because I'm extremely introverted and I do really well in like small group one on one situations. And Same. then it's like, hey, let's go to this party. Let's go to this bar. Let's go to the, you know, this club. And I'm like, nope, sitting on my couch. I live here now. <laughs> right? And I'm like, I'm out and people and people and people and people. And then I come home and I'm like, oh, my God, there's still people. Yeah, I can't do that. I, I, need, I need my little decompression chamber mm-hmm. time most of the time. But this is like a good experience for it's me because I get to get out of the house and I get to hang out with real people. And it's fun. Not just my dog. I make Lauren be social and, and share her <laughs> opinions on things. Yes. It's, which is awesome. It's delightful. And sometimes we get delicious Indian food. And mm-hmm. we just, yeah, we have fun. And then we recruit people. Yes. We <laughs> we may have recruited a, a new member of our, yes. our local guild at yeah. the Indian restaurant because yesterday. <laughs> we knit in public often. Yeah. doesn't matter where we are or who we're with. We're going to be knitting, and yeah. therefore that leads to lots of conversations about, oh, You knitting. can do that? Can you teach me? Right. Oh, you're doing that without even looking? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sure I am. I've been doing it a long time. I noticed neither of us have knit a single stitch today, which is kind of amazing. Well, not necessarily today. We haven't knit on camera. I have yes. done most of the cast off of my cowl today. Yeah. I knit maybe a row. I'm not even sure. Yeah. 
Yep, Usually we're knitting on camera though. We didn't do that today because we were showing off other things. Yeah, I'm looking at like it's actually warmish today. It's like 60 degrees. Mm-hmm. It's cloudy and moist because mm-hmm. it's been raining. But one of these days we'll probably knit outside and then it'll be like, hey, there's lots of birds and yes. trucks and noise. But Much noise. Fun. noise. But yes, and I think there's a way to edit down the background mm-hmm. noise or something. I don't know. Maybe no idea. if I recall correctly. Who knows? All, all editing is Lauren. I do nothing. <laughs> you you hover over my shoulder and it helps sometimes. I hover over and like, what? what? <laughs> How do you edit that? Oh. No, make it work. I won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best. It's good. So I think that's it. I think that's all yeah. we have today. And then, you know, in like two weeks after Easter, after like another knit out and maybe another yarn festival Mm -hmm. and yeah i don't know there's so much stuff going on yeah yeah the alpaca fiber fest is coming up Mm -hmm. and the interweave one which i've heard mixed um yeah we mixed feelings about the milwaukee interweave yeah we chatted with some folks about the interweave yarn fest when we were at yarn con and i guess they haven't really been good about contacting the local yarn stores and saying hey do you want to like vend here do you want to work with us and that's weird a weird thing to do interweave yeah so um, we don't know what that's gonna unsure be unsure if i want to go support them yeah i may go and check it out just so i can have snarky opinions we'll see yeah. no idea we'll yet see. um so yeah Yay. until next time keep knitting yep and make your best alpaca faces alpaca faces <laughs>